This is an update on the autoclave boiler control box. Essentially what I had to do was turn this list of sequences into an automated process. Typically I'm the guy who does this and it's often hard to train employees on how to do it just right. So the customer is commissioned a build of an automated startup and shutdown system. This system is required to run the fan for a set period of time upon shutdown of the system. And I wanted it to be completely automated. The whole reason the gentleman who commissioned this build is purchasing it is because he wants it to be foolproof. A simple push the button on and push the button off. And that requires a lot of thinking to make that happen as far as the mechanization of this. So in order to get that pump to turn on after we shut all this off, took some serious trickery. The way I initially had it set up was this red wire right here was connected to my number two blower bus. And it worked, okay? The system would kick on, it would do what it was supposed to do, and then when I would go to shut it off, I got all excited because my timer triggered just like it was supposed to. The blower ran, and then it cycled and went into a perpetual loop and it kept triggering this contactor and starting the timer all over again. So my trigger signal, which was coming from this bus, was getting disengaged and resetting the trailing end relay. I'm using this to drive a contactor. I don't know if you should use these to run loads. Even though they're rated at 16 amps, 16 amps in China actually means about 1 to 0.5 amps in real world scenarios. What we're going to be watching here when I click the start button, I just had the blower hooked up for now. We're going to see a trigger voltage of 3.4 volts going to the motor controller. This is a high grade brushless motor. So it uses a 0 to 10 voltage power control to function it. To control its speed, I should say. So it's going to run for 10 seconds on low, and then it's going to kick on to a signal of, let's go like seven, seven volts for the operating mode. So let's take a look. And then once that happens, when I go to turn this off, we're going to want to see this blower timer relay kick on and run the blower on shutdown mode to cool off the combustion chamber and to blow out any residual fuel and to stop residual heat from coming back up into the blower and damaging it. Let's get on with it. I'm gonna press the start button, which is here, and here we go. The blower is running on low, 3.42 volts trigger voltage. 10 seconds will pass. From now on high, it will stay like that indefinitely. But now that it's time to shut down, we're now on full blast. A full 10 volts is basically being shot in there. And the system has shut itself down automatically. So there is no big procedure required to shut this thing off or turn it on. You push a button and it turns on and all the sequences that are handled, you push a button to turn it off and the shutdown sequences are also taken care of. Okay, so we're gonna do one last simulation here. We have the igniter and this drill is going to simulate the fuel pump and we have the blower. We're gonna hit the switch. We're gonna see the fuel pump and the blower kick on low for the set period of time, in this case being 10 seconds. The igniter will also be running. We will then see the igniter go off. When the igniter goes off, I'm gonna hit the shutdown button, at which point the blower will automatically remain on for the set period of time. Reminds me, I need to label this. So here we go. We're hitting the switch. Now 
kicked on high. Let's see here. This is off until now. That is now on, and we're timing based on this set time. And that's gonna shut off and that timer disengages. So there you go. We are seaworthy at this point. This thing is fully capable of running the machine. It just needs calibrated as far as times go. We need to start off, I think, with a 70 second warm up cycle, and then the um, power level will increase to the operating pressure and wattage on the blower, and the spark will shut off. So here we go, that's an update. We're making headway, and um, I'm ready to get this thing down the road.